Hello, I'm Mitch Legan. Bloomington Mayor John Hamilton says he will push for a local income tax increase of half a percent in 2020 to fund the city's efforts to combat climate change. Let me be clear that I do not propose a revenue increase lightly. But I believe that the times in our future demand it and that as a community we are in a position to afford it. The mayor made his announcement at a swearing-in ceremony for city government officials on Wednesday. Hamilton announced the proposed tax hike after announcing a plan for Bloomington to create an environmental green ribbon panel within 100 days of January 1st. If the tax hike goes through, Bloomington's local income tax would increase from 1.25% to 1.75%. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is providing 22 grants totaling $1.2 million for energy, for energy efficiency projects across the state. Many of the projects allow farmers to install solar panels on their properties. These incentives come at a time when the durability of policy for solar projects has been threatened. Money has already been allocated, and recipients will be awarded once their projects are complete. Dozens of polar plungers stormed into Lake Monroe this morning, despite temperatures hanging in the mid-30s. Yeah, there was a, a great turnout. Um, we made some money for the Boys and Girls Club, and so that's a good day. <laughs> it's a Monroe County tradition to take the plunge on New Year's Day and start the year off with a splash. All the money raised for the event goes straight to the Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington. And now a look at tonight's weather. We have a low of 37, mostly clear, but that clear is going to become rain tomorrow with a high of 50 or 49. Friday we'll have a high of 54, and that rain will stick around. For more news, be sure to go to WTIUnews.org.